just going to do a quick video on how to change uh, the gobos in the American DJ busy spots. I have uh, four busy spots and uh, this past weekend I did a gig and we did the uh, monogram for the couple. I also have some um, of my logos that I'm going to swap out in my Vizies. Um, I ordered my um, gobos from gobosource.com. Uh, ship them over, you send them your proof and your lettering or the graphic, what you want. They send you a, a PDF of the, the end result, you approve it and they ship it. Very fast turnaround, good service. Um, so I'm very happy with Gobosource.com for that. And uh, like I said, so we're gonna do, I have the American DJ VisiSpot LED. We'll change the Gobo. I'll show you a quick video on how to do that. All right, so on the VisiSpot, you have uh, two, two uh, on the main body, there are two pieces and you wanna take off the part that's uh, opposite the, uh, the lens. There are four screws up here. One, two, three, four. You simply unscrew those and we take off the housing. All right, so you, like I said, you unscrew the four screws on top. Now don't unscrew them too much because there's a washer underneath that sort of keeps the screw in place so that you don't lose them. So don't actually remove the screw. Unscrew it just enough so that when you lift it up, it obviously comes off. So the screws don't fall out. They're being held in place by a little plastic piece inside. And there's a nice little uh, wire here so you don't actually lose the, the cap as well. So that can just hang right there. Inside the Vizzy, you have uh, obviously all, all the nice little things in there. So the gobo wheel, and right there you see the gobo wheel. And that was the gobo I used last night. You can see it's the uh, monogram for the couple for last night's wedding. And that's the one we're going to remove. All right, now this might be hard to explain or to show, but the way the gobos pop out of the wheel See where I have the screwdriver? You just take a little flathead screwdriver and very carefully sort of pry away to the right of the, the screen here. Um, you, you just kind of wedge it in there and you pry it away very, very gently just to kind of dislocate it from the holding and then you're gonna pull it straight up. So a little bit out to the right and straight up and that'll completely remove the housing for that gobo. Okay, so you see, so then it just comes straight out and that's what the gobo is held in place by. Now, on the inside here, there is a metal sort of spring that you just pop out. Be careful not to lose that because that's what holds it in place by pressure. And then you just pop out the, the metal gobo and uh, put back in, I'll put in the original for now and then later I'm gonna put in my logo ones uh, after. Here you see the, the holder. I have the original gobo there and that's the that's the spring that holds it in place. So, obviously you want to make sure to put the gobo back in the same, uh, facing the same way. See, the, those two, one side is black, one side is silver. The, and if you look at the other gobos, the silver part is the part that's facing this way. So, we, you just take the gobo and you drop it in. Fits right in and then this guy you pop it back in there and that holds it in place. All right, so I'll try to do this with one hand. Original gobo back in place and then we pop it back in the slot. So actually with this part down, sort of fit it in. And with one hand, this is quite fun. And that's it, it just sort of snaps in place. And there you go. So that's how you change the gobos on the American DJ Z Spot LED. So all right guys, so I hope that helped. If you uh, have any questions, of course, feel free to leave a comment or whatnot. So that's it, see ya on the next one. Practice and enjoy.